Hi everyone! Today I'm in my studio and I am going to finish up the landscape that I showed you last week. Finally getting back to it. I'm Pat Scribner, a visual artist from Vancouver Island, Canada and I'm happy you joined me. If you are enjoying my videos, please subscribe and give a thumbs up. I love your comments too. So let's get started. So this is the landscape and I've been looking at it and pondering it. There's lots of things I like about it, but there's one thing or two things in particular that I'm not enjoying about it. Uh, one is this division of space in here. So I'm finding that these blue shapes, if I look at them as shapes, they're very similar in size. So I'm not feeling the repetition is good. It feels very um, divided equal to me, the blue shape. So I want to change that. So I am going to just work on eliminating, I think this because it's, it's kind of in the center and it's drawing my attention. So I want to make that a little um, simplified in there. So I might not lose all of it, but some of it. And the tone is slightly different on that mixed color I'm seeing. So just so it doesn't stand out there, I'm going to put it in a couple of other places. Okay, so now we've got rid of that part in the middle. The other part that was kind of bothering me is this area over there. Um, my eye wants to go to that and I either need to bring more of that combination somewhere else or I need to simplify that down. So I think I think I might go for the simplification. So I have a neutral green mixed up. This again is a little different coloration than I've used before. So I am going to put it in more than one place. I'm feeling I need more green uh, to connect this better. So, okay, so I'm going to also bring a little of that right over to this edge just to carry our eye across. Even though this isn't a true line, it's kind of an implied line. Uh, that carries our eye across. So without bringing it to the edge, it kind of stops in there. So now I'm feeling my focal point is right in this area where there's a high contrast of that lighter color and it's a little bit too center. So I'm going to change that as well. So I'm just going to, might leave little bits of it, but I'm just going to calm that right off. I'm going to introduce a little brighter color in a couple of places, just a little bit more teal. I like that now. It's really bringing my eye 
right out of the painting. It's just too bright. So I'm going to try and scrape it back. That's better. I only have it in two places though. So it's a little bit warmer color. So over here on the neutrals, it's not bouncing off as much as it does next to the coral. So I'm okay with it a little bit uh, hotter over there. Okay, I'm feeling like I want to simplify maybe this a little bit. I think I'll take that right over to the corner. So now we're down to just making some really uh, subtle kind of shifts and um, just little things that will make the difference. So when we're at this stage, you have to be really cautious too that you don't uh, overwork. It's really easy to go too far. And pull a little of that coral color onto this edge. Just to scoot your eye back in. So oh, I'm not really liking that area right there. I'm going to try and modify it. So I've got quite a bit of built up texture here. So you can kind of get a, a, a scumble like effect by just dragging your brush or tool over top of the bumps. I feel like I need to reduce this down. Maybe just let it peek through. Yeah, that feels better. Yeah, I was just finding that was a little bit in the center and it was breaking my line across the painting there. So now that's kind of pushed it into the background a bit. Now you can literally go on making tweaks for a long time, but you have to know when it's time to just take a step back and say enough is enough. Be putting a little more light coming down into one part of the painting here. So I'm just using a yellow and I've got quite a bit of peach on my brush. Just feeling like I want to break this up a little bit. It's 
So I might come back in and just enhance some of my marks and lines. So I'm using a Woody uh, Stabilo crayon. No, I can get really carried away with my scribbling because it's something I enjoy so much, so I have to be very cautious that I don't really overdo it here. I want to just try and bring a bit of white just a little further over here into the sky. want to bring a spot of a little uh, more attention somewhere into the mix. So trying this teal next to the orange and it's in a fairly good spot for a little bit of emphasis and focus. It might be a little bit on the low side for the golden means but um, it's close to that area and it felt like that was the right place to put it. So I'm feeling like this is, is pretty uh, complete and right now I'm, I am going to stop. I may make some minor tweaks, but at this point I am going to say that I am pretty much finished now uh, just by changing up a few things giving it a bit more glow, bringing the white over, adding the green across, um, this kind of making our eye go across the bottom more, not having this part in the center, adding a little bit more line work. So I think that's all I'm going to do. Uh, if I do anything else, it'll just be a very minor adjustment. I hope you enjoyed that and that it was valuable for you to listen to my thought process and see me uh, really um, focus in on those final adjustments of a painting. And I did leave it for a week and I like to do that to uh, just look at it and ponder it as I'm working on other things. Uh, I find that if I don't stop and take a good look over a period of time that I can overdo it and go too far and actually lose the painting. So I really um, think that's a good point for everybody because so often there's three good paintings under a painting by the time you finish because you've changed it so many times and sometimes that can be interesting but if you um, take pictures of your work along the way and you can go back and look at them or if you video your work and you can watch what you've done, you might find that you are pushing too far in your haste. So I would just caution you when you're near the end of your painting to really slow down, uh, take a step back, take a long look at it, move it out of your studio, maybe place it in your house in a prominent spot where you can see it with fresh eyes um, where there's not all the clutter of your studio around and all the other things that are vying for your attention and just ponder it a bit and make um, changes slowly at the end. I think you'll end up with a better painting if you do it this way. That's what I found works for me so I hope you find that helpful and again Thanks so much for tuning in and watching. I really appreciate it. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment. And also, um, subscribe to my channel. We'll see you real soon.